2022. My colleagues, I am pleased to, to be here this morning to speak to this, this motion because I earnestly believe that this is the kind of positive and progressive social politics in which we should be involved. Uh, these are the kind of bricks and mortar issues in which we could get actually stuck into, make happen ourselves and make a real difference in people's lives. The insulation and retrofitting of people's homes for their comfort, safety, health and well-being makes a real difference and creates real jobs. These are the real bread and butter issues that matter in people's daily lives and are far more help to them than the milk and water slogans of protest politics. It has now been established by all studies, national and international, that one of the best ways of tackling fuel poverty is to insulate and retrofit homes and make them more energy efficient. And you don't have to be an expert to know the difference between a house that is well built and one that is not. One of my abiding memories from last year's general election campaign that will always stick with me was when we called canvassing to a woman's door in Port Arlington in the middle of that bleak and harsh winter to find this woman, a widow woman, out of, out of work, sick. She hadn't got the 50 or 60 euro to go to the doctor and there she was in her own home in the middle of the day wrapped up in her clothes, her dressing gown and top coat because she was freezing in her own home. That's wrong and that shouldn't happen. That's why Labour are in government and that's why this is a sensible, strong motion because this is the kind of thing we can do something about. And that's why Labour are in government to act and to make a difference instead of being on the outside chanting slogans and protesting while offering little by way of solutions or solving problems. But we also must be aware that it's not, not enough for us or Minister Pat Rabbit to initiate, finance and roll out such retrofitting and energy efficient schemes because the work has to be done and done properly. We must remember that the last government spent one billion on fixing pipes that still don't hold water because shoddy work doesn't count and that's the fact and the reality is and I've said it before and it's worth repeating here that there are priory halls in every county in the country and that must be never allowed to happen again. Colleagues, in commending and urging you to support this excellent motion, I also urge the Minister and his Cabinet colleagues here today to proceed and expedite the introduction of the planned mandatory and inspection regime and enforcement of planning regulations and conditions, so as to ensure that all homes and all bills comply with the best standards and building regulations, because people have forked out hard-earned money for houses that are not fit for living in, let alone, let alone insulated to the proper standard. So this is an excellent motion. I urge you to support it because it will boost the local economy, generate real local jobs, tackle fuel poverty and provide better warmer homes, but only if the schemes are properly administered and monitored and the work carried out to the best standards. Thank you, colleagues.